First, you learnt about the concept of building with nature and the design process, that you have strategic goals deriving from the functional requirements of the design and the envisaged building with nature gains and opportunities, that you need to translate these strategic goals into operational, measurable targets over each stage of the design process. And next, you learnt about ecosystems, their intrinsic value, how they function, as well as about ecosystem services. Clearly, ecological knowledge is essential in developing building with nature designs. But it may already be clear to you that the perspective of an ecologist and of an engineer regarding the effects of hydraulic infrastructures can differ substantially. In the next knowledge clip, you'll learn more about the variety of perspectives that can be held on infrastructures and their effects on nature or on the living environment of people. You'll learn about issues of scale, that is spatial and time scales, as well as the level of aggregation adopted. You see, actors, people or stakeholders hold different scale perspectives. They have diverging interests, they, they have different resources and degrees of influence on decision processes. This means that different functional requirements may be placed upon an infrastructure by different actors. By adopting a multi-actor system stance, an engineer can design for multiple functions and for different perspectives.